Welcome to We Are One. We are so happy to have you here with us yet again. Today, I'm so happy to receive our dear author and practitioner, Adele Lias, with us. Welcome, Adele. Thank you, Ale. I'm so happy to be here. Um, I know I don't get to see you all. I understand that. But I do feel this community. I feel you when we're here. I feel you when I tune in to the other teachers and play some of the We Are Ones over and over. I find they really help in this very strange time we find ourselves living in. So thank you for the connection. Thank you, Ale, for your work. Thank you to the faculty for letting me join you and to Michael and David. Um, well, and of course, it goes without saying, thank you, Mary. Thank you, Giro. You gave my life meaning and direction and an immune system. So, so um, my, my little what? My, my niche, my deepest interest in life has always been the animals. And um, I've always taken in rescued animals and lots of times rescue animals come with lots of challenges. So after Jin Shin Jitsu came into my life after a, a drowning accident and it revolutionized my life, and I had a sick dog. And I kept thinking, boy, there, there must be a way. I'd tried all different things, but surely this thing that had helped me so much, it must help them, it must. But there was a couple things I didn't know and that I didn't practice in the beginning. And the first one, was trust, self-trust. And you know, that comes with letting go. So today we're going to talk about some things your animals will teach you as you work on them. And one of them, one of the most important safety energy locks for us, I think, is the 15s here, right along the groin. Wash your heart with joy and laughter. So I would like to invite you to hold those 15s. Allow yourself to feel connected. Connected right down to the center of the earth. Jin Shin Jitsu is first and foremost an art about breathing. And Mary Burmeister, who brought this work to the West in the 1950s, tells us, you're never in disharmony because of what you lack, but what you haven't let go of. Therefore, we start with the exhale the letting go, down the front of the body, right through those 15s, on down the legs, and to the center of the planet. And once you fully exhaled, then we receive from the abundance up the back, up the spine, over the head, and let it wash down again. So let's just share a few deep, centered, loving exhales. And inhale.
So 15 came into the universe, meaning wash your heart with joy and laughter. Now, there's no contradiction in Jin Shin Jitsu, physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, digestively. So when we wash our heart with joy and laughter, it is the physical heart. It's going to help arrhythmias, heart disease, um, up here around where I work with the animals, heartworm, anything about the heart. It's also going to help a broken heart. It's going to help us let go of grief and sadness. To my way of thinking, as we let go of grief and sadness, which Mary tells us is about misplaced possessiveness, a lot of what happens is we can come back into an initial trust of ourselves. And boy, if I had to pick one word that is necessary for, quote, success, with the animals, and by success, I mean sharing this loving art with them. It's that you got to get out of the way and you got to trust. You got to trust your hands. You got to trust your heart. And the more I exhale deeply, the more that trust comes up. Allie, now I'm remembering what I was going to ask you before. Ha <laughs> ha. Did you get the slides? Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm going to work on it in a minute. <laughs> okay. We, that's okay. We'll keep going. So one of the things that I found with working with the animals is that they are magnificent teachers. They will teach you about trust. They will teach you about the quality of your touch. They will teach you what they like, what they don't like, what they can accept or not. And there are a couple interesting safety energy locks that on some animals are impossible. On some animals, they're just not fun. They just don't like them. So I wanted to look at those, the three primary safety energy locks that are challenges with the animals and play with how are we gonna how are we gonna share with them? So um the 15s will have to do with part of that. One of the other ones we will use is if you take your hand, flop it over your shoulder down to the top of the shoulder blade. Move your arm a little bit, you're gonna feel movement. That is safety energy lock three, yeah? It's a swinging door, what we let in and what we keep out. So that has to do with relationships, who we let in, who we keep out. It has to do with the immune system, what we let in, what we keep out. Right now, I hope you're all busy keeping certain viruses out. So. Let's hold our three, and I'll tell you a little story. In 1990, I was in a class with Philomena. I had just started, it was my second class. And Philomena, um, stay put, boy, good. We're gonna work with him in a minute. Philomena, Philomena Dooley, one of Mary's three original instructors, and she's done a couple presentations on here. She's just delightful. But it was very new. I was taking everything very seriously. And she said, if for some reason there's a safety energy, you can't, a safety energy lock you can't reach or can't easily hold, you can look at the numerical value of that safety energy lock and substitute another safety energy lock with the same numerical value. For instance, we're on the three. 
if we think about a 21, two plus one, it's three. Or we think about safety energy lock 12. Safety energy lock 12, one plus two, three. The three of those safety energy locks have a relationship. I remember at the time being, as I told you, very new. I wrote it down in my notebook and I put in parentheses. I don't understand why I would use this, but she said it like it's important. <laughs> so, so be it. Um, golly, about 15 years later, I finally got a horse in my life in a meaningful way. She was a wonderful girl named Callie, 17 hands high, Percheron thoroughbred mix. I could hardly reach her at all. And she had quite a few behavioral and physical issues. So I know she needed a lot of Jin Jin Jitsu. I was back in my notes. I was reading and studying like crazy. I told you those teachers came in the form with four legs and fur. And I came upon this sentence of Philomena's. Bam, Callie, just like so many animals, does, doesn't want her 21s touched. It's, it's partly because of how their eyes are positioned, but it's partly that it's, it's invasive. And yet freedom from mental bondage was something I knew she needed. So, I realized I could substitute safety energy lock three. And suddenly Philomena's obscure sentence years before became the key to working with the animals. So let's take a few minutes and play with that. Feel what that feels like for us. Come on up into your 21s. Right here. I like to use a whole bunch of fingers in there and feel that whole space, freedom from mental bondage. Now for most of us, that's comforting and easy to apply. But for the animals, that's a big challenge. So, Instead, we can hang the, our hands over the shoulders and hold that top of the shoulder blade. I'm gonna come over to my big fella now. And so oh, lovely. <laughs> how's my boy? How's my precious boy? Yeah. Are you so good? This is Shirako. He came to us at the beginning of the pandemic. He was a rescue. You wouldn't know it, but at that time he was starving and he was on all kinds of meds for depression, aggression, and anxiety. Um, I think we found what he needed. So when I start a session, almost always, I start by, by petting, by loving, by saying hello. And then I slide into 13 and 10. I'm not too worried about which hand I'm using or even which directions my hands are going. But it's like I'm giving a big heart hug. Safety energy lock 13, unconditional love. Safety energy lock 10, all about receiving the universal abundance. Oh, so good. Now, my tribe gets a lot of sessions. So the truth is they pretty much let me hold anything on them. But let's see. Okay, good boy. He's being good. He's, he's moving away to prove my point. The 21s. Right up here, 
freedom from mental bondage. Now, a dog who has anxiety, boy, that's something you want to help them with. But if that's uncomfortable for your darling, I'm going to come right here to the top of the shoulder blade. A moment ago, we were here on the 10. I'm just letting my fingers do the walking up here into the three. That swinging door, what we let in and what we keep out. Safety energy lock three is also the key to relationship. So if you were looking, I think there is no better way to bond deeply with your animals, to hear what they think, feel what they feel above and beyond, holding Jin Jin Jitsu holds on you. Oh, what well, good boy. So now I'm on both threes. I'm going flat hand. So the truth is I'm holding three, 10, nine. But my emphasis right now is that swinging door, what we let in and what we keep out. The other safety energy locks that add up to three is safety energy lock 12. 12 is right up here under the collar. Now, 12 came into the universe talking all about surrender of the personal in direction of the universal. And in other words, the nickname for it is stubbornness. So should you happen to have a stubborn animal, opening those threes is going to be a very good way let that melt away. Can you see Carmen is up here on the bed and she's getting a vicarious session too. I would suggest that when, if you have multiple animals, keep everybody in the room when you work on yourself or when you work on them. So 21, that's the first real challenge. The second safety energy lock that is tough for a lot of animals. Again, these guys are so good, I can probably do it on them. But once I put my hands on, to the best of my ability, I keep my hands on them so they know where I am. Way down here, deep in the pad. Yeah, like most dogs are not gonna allow this, but that is safety energy lock six. That, that's not everybody's friend. They just don't like that. And yet it brings balance. Well, I have a great idea. Let's go back where we started. Let's come in south. Safety energy lock 15, right along the groin. One and five, see, adding up to six. And so that safety energy lock 15, wash your heart with joy and laughter a great way to bring balance. You're looking for a lovely way to deepen your relationship? How about a three and I want to encourage you to take your awareness and put it in your fingertips. I like to think that I have my ears at the end of my hands. So when I'm holding them, and it's very light pressure, not digging, but when I'm tuned in and our breathing lines up, And I start to feel the awakening of the pulses under my 
fingers. I feel like I've been led into a very magical world where I can really feel and share a little bit more about what their life is like. And then the last really challenging safety energy lock for the animals is the seven. So for us, that's the big toe. Um, now, one of the, with the horse, for instance, back to Cali, horses stand on their middle toe. Long ago, millions of years ago, they had three toes, like a so. But those have evolved away so that the hoof is really that middle toe. So how are you going to hold the big toe? It's not there. Okay. So, but they have a seven. Surely they have a safety energy of like seven. It's migrated up the back leg a little bit. And it's very invasive if you hold it on them. Oh, he is so funny. Okay. Now you can see where his sevens are. So on a pup, some dogs have a dew claw that's it's not on the pad of the foot, it's up a little ways. And some dogs that that has also evolved out of existence. On him, he just has the little lump there. So I could hold that foot, but the vast majority of dogs are not going to be happy with that. So instead, I play with what I call baby math. And I say, wow, two and five, that makes a seven. And I hold safety energy lock 25 here on the sits bone. Gently and calmly regenerate and rejuvenate. Seven came into the universe, meaning victory. End of that exhale. Beginning of the inhale. Now, how how you want to celebrate victory? Well, how about receiving as you gently and calmly regenerate and rejuvenate? Oh, I can just. Feel that harmony streaming through him. So it's my belief that those are the three safety energy locks that people get hung up on with the animals. And then they tend to not trust themselves and quit. So I want you to see that all of Jin Shin Jitsu is only about relationship, and you can't do it wrong. And adding these up and playing with the other safety energy locks with the same numerical value is one way to trust yourself and to go deeper into the bond with your animal. Same thing works if you're working on yourself and you don't feel like reaching all the way down to your six on the bottom of the foot. Hold the 50 and be joyful and happy about the fact that you're increasing balance in your world. So I think that Philomena's valuable little sentence all those years away I think she was on to something. Play with it. See, see where it brings you. So, uh, thank you, big boy. You'd never know it. He's part whippet. He's one of the fastest dogs you'll ever see. But when he rests, he really rests. <laughs> so that was what I had in mind today. And um, I thank you all. And sorry, I'm, I messed up the slide, so you don't get to see a picture of that horse. Who was yes, it? Didn't arrive. <laughs> no, no worries.
no worries. Picture a big black horse and know that she was a good teacher, as they are for all of us. So thank you. Thank you, Ale. Thank you for sharing your love. I, I, I am out of words because uh, when, when we see this devotion that you have to the animals, it, I think it inspires us to feel love as much as we can. It's just an infusion of love. I melt every time I see you work. <laughs> I exhale from head to toes. <laughs> just so much fun. That, that's, that's the thing that people don't know maybe until they try. It is <laughs> so much fun to share with them. They'll mm -hmm. teach you everything you need. And harmony reverberates if we practice on ourselves and then we give them, uh, we have a happy family in multi, multiple realms of existence. Yes. Thank you, dear. Thank you, Charlie. And thank you for watching. Adele, for those uh, of our community that want to reach you or to know more about your book, they can find it out on jsjinc.net in the online store, right? And you yeah. also have your, your website and you are teaching your animal class, right? Correct, yes. So right this moment, just like everybody else, all of my work has gone online. Um, the easiest way probably is to email me. It's very exotic. Adele, JSJ, pets at gmail.com. Uh, and my website, equally exotic, jsjforyouranimal.com. And I'm on Facebook. Again, a big surprise, Jin Shin Jitsu for your animal companions. <laughs> oh. uh, kind of kind of Johnny OneNote here. Uh, and yes, I I have books, I have charts. Um, LA was sweet enough to make if you look at Jin Shin Jitsu official, he gave me my own little playlist. Yes, there's a playlist for your animals. Yeah, on the animals. And they all tell you how to reach me as well. Right now I am having online classes and it looks like that will continue. We started those last week, but since they are recorded, people who join late, I can send you those recordings and you can catch up. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Adele, we had one question here from Ondina and she was saying uh, uh, she would like you to tell her which safety energy lock would be the ones to calm her son's baby bulldog? But I guess everything that you showed today applies, right? The, the, yes. the sandwich of 10s and 13s, what would you say? 10 and 13 is, okay, I'm going to pull the whole bed this time. Hi, baby. 10 and 13 is a great one. Another one that's great. Oh, he's really dreaming now. Oh, Four, four and 13. Wonderful. Four is really good at calming. Um, and, and that 13, unconditional love. But also remember, you're talking about a baby. So very worthwhile to work on them. But you're going to work little bits. And I would work on him when he's already really tired. You know, if he's crashed out, <laughs> get your hands on him, he'll start to learn the work. And then over time, it builds and it will really help become part of the bulldog's personality. Yeah. That's and te beautiful. teach your son 10 and 13. That'd be a great way for them to, to bond. Oh, thank you for your advice. Uh, and we are so happy to have you here with us. And thank you at home for watching. Uh, make sure you follow us on Facebook, on YouTube, subscribe to our channel, and you will be notified of every single new video we make available for you. Thank you so much. Thank you, ciao. See you next time. Enjoy the practice. Bye-bye. <laughs>